-hmm. and you brought up Kendrick, it made me think of a of a line Kendrick had in, in a record that got. Mm -hmm. And you brought up Kendrick, it made me think of a of a line Kendrick had in, in a record that got leaked where he said, "You're finally famous for who you date, not how you rhyme, boy." Right. When you heard that bar, did you did you get any rhymes prepared, and did it did it have the same reaction that you had when Lena said that to you? All right. So yeah. Um, okay, so those are two two questions. When I first heard that, I definitely had a whole thing prepared. So let, let's let's back this up. So I did a song called No More Energy. Hey yo, I'm telling you right now, if this nigga Big Sean tried to go at Kendrick, that nigga's career would have been finished. Like I'm talking finished if he would have tried. You see what he did to the biggest artist in the world. That nigga would have ripped Big Sean apart, bro. I'm 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 glad that you didn't release anything and that you didn't try to diss these niggas. I'm glad. I'm glad cuz you saved your entire career. Care. So let, nigga let's, had, let's turn nigga, that. nigga had a whole jaw ready. Yeah, you would have got smoked, bro. I definitely had a whole K Dot thing is a prepared. savage, bro. So let, let's let's back this up. So I did a song called No More Interviews, mm -hmm. where I'm rapping about people rapping fast and blah blah blah, and people are like, oh, you talking about Kendrick? I'm like, well, I'm not talking about anyone specifically. I'm just talking my shit. At the time, there was a lot of motherfuckers rapping. I'm surprised no one thought Eminem or. I remember Logic was hot at the MGK, you know, all mm -hmm. these other rappers that rap fast. And I'm like, this nigga Kendrick don't even rap fast all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, it's other people who be rapping fast all the time. But I But whose music is most relevant at the time? Whose verses are the, you know, let's not act like niggas like to, you can't fucking throw, throw rocks and then hide your hand type shit. You see how, I wasn't talking about Kendrick. He doesn't rap fast all the time. But like, you know, nigga would have been like, yo, I was not talking about Kendrick Lamar. I was talking about all these other niggas. He said, why didn't anybody assume all the rest of the other niggas? Why? Because it was probably for and towards Kendrick. Let's not act like that, bro. Come on, son. I remember Logic was hot at the MGK. Logic, my nigga. Logic, MGK. There's no hate against Logic and MGK. I fucks with MGK heavy. But Logic, nigga, you, you're dissing Logic? Are you dissing Logic? Like, let's be real, bro. Or are you gonna diss a nigga that? Come on, bro. Hey, yo. I'm literally recording. Give me six minutes and 26 seconds. But. Yo, this. <laughs> Call you, man. <laughs> this nigga, bro, another fucking pair. Yo, my man's calls me every time he gets a pair of sneakers. And he told me the last six to seven times, he told me he was done buying sneakers and has bought six to seven pairs since then. So... All these other rappers that rap fast, and Funny. I'm like, this nigga Kendrick don't even rap fast all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, it's other people who be rapping fast all the time. But I definitely was, like, not running from or ducking no type smoke at all. Like, so when I heard that there might be, you know, some remnants of something, I did have something prepared. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. And then I ran into Day Free in the elevator Smart. at WME. And I'm like, yo, was that? I, I, I forgot what... Um, was it the control verse? Or? No, no, no. This was way after. So, okay. me, so by the way, Kendrick has been in my house. Me and him are cool, by the oh, way. Right, right, right. Oh. He's invited me to his mom's house before. Mm -hmm. This was like my old house. Oh, I didn't know they was cool. We were uh. cooler back then, let me say that, because I'm not going to sit here and be like, we cool. I don't talk to him. Mm -hmm. But Oh, so he is um, talking about I 10 years ago. I remember, I'm just breaking down the timeline. That I remember when that control verse was 2014, 2015. And, and I dropped. I decided and bounced back and all this stuff, and he dropped. He was dropping his album. Well, that's Damn. Like L and tonight I bounced and back. I can't remember what freestyle. I guess it was the hard part four, I don't remember. five maybe, yeah. something like that. And people were like, "Oh, he's talking about Big Sean in there, right?" So I ran it. I ran in it. I hit up Top Dog first. I'm like, "Yo, who he talking about?" He's talking about the. He's just talking to me. He's just throwing a bone out there, right? Why you just ain't ask Kendrick? 
Like, why not text Kendrick to say, yo, was you talking about me in this Because I didn't think I had his right number. I okay. think I did hit him first, and mm -hmm. it's like, I'm like, oh, I don't have his... I got Come on, niggas, this cat. I, I hit up... I think I hit him up. Fucking stop lying, my nigga. Stop. That shit corny as fuck, bro. Was you talking about niggas, me? Niggas, I... niggas, niggas, that shit's corny as fuck, bro. I hate that shit. Right. Why you just ain't asked Kendrick? Right. Why didn't you? Oh, I. it went from I texted these niggas first to I think I texted Kendrick. I'm not sure if I had that nigga's right number. My nigga, you would have known if you texted that nigga. Yo, is this shit about me? Like, and niggas, niggas, yo, bro, I see through this shit. Like, it's nothing, bro. Listen to this nigga. Just talking to me, just throwing a bone out there, right? Why you just ain't asked Kendrick? Like, why not text Kendrick to say, yo, was you talking about me? Because I didn't think I had his right number. I okay. think I did hit him first. And mm -hmm. it's like, I'm like, oh, I don't have, I got top number because he had just had me come out at his charity event, mm -hmm. uh, like a year ago or something in okay. Watts. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking we like straight, you know what I'm saying? So then, no, 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 I wasn't about you, wasn't about you. All right, cool. So the little shit I had, I just was like, let me let me get out of my head, because I'm thinking like it might be something. So you had a song or a verse? I had just uh, some ideas, you okay. know what I'm saying? <laughs> just awesome, just to be real with you. Like, I had some ideas, you know, mapped out. So then, <laughs> you had ideas. Nipsey dies. Joe Budden had created this, like, before that, Joe Budden had made this, like, there's a Kendrick Big Sean beef, and to the point where I tried to ignore it, but it, he he made that narrative so fucking real that I think it really did become a thing. So like, punch, he, wasn't, he wasn't all the way wrong though. It, you said it, it might have been something in the air. Well, yeah, because I, I'm getting to the point where me and Kendrick talk. Okay. So I get to the point where I'm like, damn, do we got something going on? That's why I had something prepared, right? And then when I run into day free, and he's like, nah, bro, it ain't nothing. Like it's all love. He said something like that wasn't directly towards you. It was for anyone, you know? Okay. So then Nipsey dies. And I sit on the plane next to Punch. Random as hell. Mm. Uh, we're, we're headed to J. Cole's festival. And he's like, you ever talk to Kendrick? And I'm like, no, nah, I never. I, I know it ain't shit there. But no, nah, we never really spoke. Then... In that, around that time, like that day, or maybe the day before that, or the week, or day, within that same time period, that leaked shit happened. It was a leaked verse. Mm -hmm. And it said what you said. Yep. I'm like, damn, nigga, y'all motherfuckers said it wasn't shit and it was something. So you got me looking crazy. But maybe he prepared something just like, the same right. way you was thinking. He was like, you know, let me get my nukes just in case too. Right, but yeah. the thing is that song came out and he changed that bar, right? So that wasn't on the song anymore. It mm -hmm. was a leaked verse. So I had to keep that in mind because I was pissed when I heard it. Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, okay, he changed that on his own. So he probably came to the conclusion that it was nothing. So then I speak, then me and him talk. And I got the text in my phone. And he's like, I might pull the text out and, and Let's read hear it. it. Why not? Oh, I ain't even got my, somebody else got my phone. Somebody grab Sean's phone. I, I essentially. You don't, don't need to misquote him. Yeah, I ain't trying to misquote shit. <laughs> Cause I don't give a fuck that much to misquote a nigga. And, and how long ago was this? You said right after Nipsey died. Yeah. Okay. So this is some years ago. So I mean, you can read my stuff too. You want me to read it? No, no, no. Okay, I okay, don't okay. think we should read it because I think that's kind of like bitch made. But gotcha. I want you to kind of like see the sentiment of it. Oh, so this is me, and then okay. this is him. What up, champ? Hope, you know, yes, we're in great grievance. That's real. Wrong. So, yeah. in a sense, I don't want to say it. He apologized, in a sense, for going that far, you know, yeah. for that shit coming out, right? Yeah. So, I wanted to show you that because, in a sense, he apologized, right? Yeah, yeah. So, if Kendrick apologized for that literal, that same leak that I heard prematurely, right, that he didn't use, it's like. Who put it out? Then it then it leaks fully later, right? And people hear it, and we already discussed it. And he said, appreciate the shout out on a Nipsey song. Mm -hmm. I already addressed it on the song with Nip. Mm -hmm. Lack of communication, the wrong information for people fueled by the ego is like mixing flames with diesel. Mm -hmm. That's what he said to you in the... No, that's what I said on a song with Nipsey. Oh, I know, but in the text, it sounded like he kind of said the same thing. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. why I said it in the song, because gotcha, in gotcha, that gotcha. text, he said, yo, you know, my ego, da-da-da, yeah, so it's yeah. like... When that shit leaks, it's like people are like, oh, you heard what he said about you? I'm like, nigga, I'm not a clout chasing ass nigga, bro. I'm solid and I stand on mine and I'm not 
about to do something because everyone thinks a certain thing. Like, we already talked about it. I already got an apology for it. And your, sh your shirt right now says, I do not care about their opinions. Yeah, so, so why would you care about the opinions of other people if you know what it is between you and Doc? Exactly. And that's what it's been. You know, I ain't really had too much communication with him since then. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but I just want to let, like, I represent a lot of people from my city, from where I come from, fans of mine, who think I didn't stand on my shit. And that's not the case. And that's what I want to clarify. Mm -hmm. I wasn't being a bitch nigga or, like, tucking my tail or nothing like that. And if it was real smoke, if it was really something to stand on, I would be full front. I would be there front and center for it. Mm -hmm. And I would be prepared. You know what I'm saying? But it's not. And people want to make something that is not. Yeah, so you. that's something that I never really got a chance to clarify. And, you know, to me, it's better to to be about business and to be authentic. And, like, if, if there's literally not a problem there, then I'm not about to feed into no narrative that isn't true, that I know isn't true. You ain't, you can't prepare for Ken. I don't think Big Sean, I'm not a fucking hater. I don't know what Big Sean's capable of. But I just, I don't think anybody can prepare for Kendrick. Like, I'm not glazing Kendrick. That nigga is one of the most articulate lyricists on this planet. That nigga is skilled. So let's not act like that, all right? I don't think there is, I don't think there is a prepare for Kendrick. You hear me? I don't know, that's just me. That's just me. It's interesting, though. This is a good podcast, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, well, hit that sub button right now. Welcome to the fam, man. We finna keep checking this podcast now, you heard? Like, get it.